We just got to the boat this morning. I was like, weird, no power on the boat anywhere. And it just wasn't plugged in, but that's pretty weird because that means that someone came and unplugged it and hung the plug right up here. I guess our uh, fridge was healthy enough to stay cool, but not healthy enough to come back to life after being unplugged. So that's uh, one thing that was working that's not anymore. My parents are always very concerned about me protecting myself from the sun so I don't get really sunburned and get skin cancer. So I have extra sun protection. Whole hat probably doesn't even like fit in the shot, huh? And we also got this sunshade. It'd be nice if there was some kind of like lotion you could spread on your skin to prevent you from getting sunburned, but I guess that's a little bit too much to ask. We're shifting our attention from some of the work inside to trying to fix up the deck, get rid of some of the leaks. We're gonna remove the teak and resurface the deck without teak. We've got a really healthy blend of Phillips and Flathead. There's a part of me that wants to count all these screws. I'm sure it's in the thousand. That just seems like too much work. Set phasers to screw removal. What even is that? Well, I can't start trying. We were working on the inside of the boat. As you saw, it leaks a lot when it rains. And bad news, we are heading into the rainy season here in Houston. But good news, um, today and for the next week, is supposed to be no rain so we're taking that chance to redo the deck and we've got to unscrew all these deck boards and then we'll come around fill the holes redo the whole thing gel coat and all hopefully get that all done in the next week people have been mentioning a lot that i sound down or negative or discouraged about the boat and in the videos i'm really excited about the boat there are moments like this where it's like we're getting this teacup and it's like wow what are we getting ourselves into you know um but i'm really excited about it um savannah's really excited about it and that i think we're kind of feed off of each other's excitement and it keeps us going all right let's uh let's pull some of these boards up the new Phillips screws come out pretty easy, and then the original flat heads just pull right through the wood. They're more like dust in the shape of a screw. Look at how easy that pops up over the old screws. Yep. Just here, screwing out super old screws. Ah, yes. It's the second hat I've lost in the water. The other one was my favorite hat that I loved, and I, it got away, it died, it sank somewhere never to be seen again. But this, save this one, even though I don't really care about this hat that much. Send me free hats. No mesh backs. I hate mesh backs. <laughs> Let me just stop my past self right there. It would have been fantastic if it played out that way, but it did not. We thought we could just pop up the teak, remove the screws, fill the holes, and apply a top layer of gel coat. What we really had to do was pull up the teak, remove the screws, brush, scrub, or scrape the deck, vacuum the deck, countersink the screw holes, vacuum the deck again, fill the holes, sand the deck, and then we can apply two layers of gel coat. Instead of doing each step on the whole deck and then moving to the next, we are doing several steps at once, working from the front to the back, with many unexpected challenges along the way. Now that you have some context, we can continue with the video. This is uh, gonna take a while, but it's not bad, it's beautiful. The shade makes it pretty nice. Out here on the water, there's like little fish in the water here. It's good, it's a good place to be. 
Well, in just a few hours, we got the entire front part of the boat, all the teak pulled up. I bet it won't take us long to get the rest of it. Well, well, Stephen is up finishing getting some screws out of the deck and the last little bit of shade there is up there. Time to start painting this bilge. That is satisfying. Get that bright, beautiful white paint on there. Gonna be a whole new boat pretty soon here. section done. Well, first non-destructive project was getting this painted and it feels really good to have at least this salon section done. Still out here pulling screws. Been doing it all day. Just kidding, I totally took a break. We went home for the whole hot afternoon and had dinner. Now we're back to doing it. this beautiful evening where it's much cooler and much more comfortable. All right, Savannah, describe to me what we just saw. All right, I'm sitting here drilling, and a rat goes from that boat there along, I don't know if you can see it very well, along that, along that rope and up to the post and down this line, all the way right up here onto my foot. We did see another rat running along over here. They're big. I was surprised. Probably the biggest rats I've ever seen. Kind of cute though. We worked pretty late last night. So now we're out here at like 6.30 a.m. to get the rest of the teak up. We're gonna spend a couple hours on it until it gets sunny and hot and then go home and take a nap and come back in the evening. Look at her. She's so tired. She's just putting a lot of pressure up with the teeth strip and then I'm twisting them out. It's definitely a faster way to get the screws out. I'm ready! Okay. Didn't even break it. Another night back at on the teak removal. We're getting pretty close to the back of the boat. We have to remove the uh, jib car rails on both sides. Last night was totally crazy. We got the anchor and the front railing off the boat. It was a ton of work. We actually set out here saying, oh, we're going to get all the rest of the teak off the boat. And we didn't get a single new piece of teak off the boat. It was kind of a frustrating night it's hard because you know we thought oh we've got a week without rain maybe a week and a couple days so we can get the deck done we budgeted like one to two days to get the take teak off and I'm like man it's gonna take us the whole one to two weeks just to get just the teak off and then we're gonna be stuck in the rain with all these open holes it's hard it's frustrating so it's been definitely a lot of a struggle, but I don't think it's really gotten us down until last night. We just didn't video last night because we were not in the mood for it. We've gotten at least some of the tools we need to keep getting the teak up. So, ha, I said teak up. There's a shrimp on our boat. You can't really tell it, but the water is a lot clearer than it normally is. You can see into it probably 
six to nine inches. I ripped a really big hole in my shorts, so there's a giant hole in the butt of my shorts right now. I'm gonna have to go get some shorts, I think. Finally got all the teak and screws out of the bow. Savannah's been working on cleaning this. It's pretty hard to get this like old tar and dirt layer scrubbed up so that it looks like that and we can start sanding on it. Well, it's been four days that we haven't come out to the boat at all, and that's felt like about a month. The reason we took a four day break is because we were waiting for the quote to come back to see how much it would be to have someone else do the deck in the hole. So we got the final quote back, and it was $49,500, and obviously we're not going to do that, so... That was the information we needed to come out here and start moving forward on doing it ourselves and feeling really, really good about doing it ourselves. If it doesn't turn out perfect, that's fine because it'll be like a $2,000 paint job instead of a $50,000 paint job. Yeah, I'm working on taking out this window. Savannah has already started grinding with a big aggressive disc to get all the flaking gel coat off. We're getting it up. Ready to turn the AC off. I don't even feel like I need it anymore. Some might call it heat stroke, but I call it transcendence. <laughs> Transcended to a higher temperature of existence. Nice. Someone stuck a bunch of aluminum foil in this gap and then siliconed over it, which is crazy to me. This is too thin to pry up against. You'll crack it, so I've just been screwing screws into the rotten wood and trying to pop it out that way. There we go. Last piece. Nope. See, if you make the mistake of setting a tool down in the sun, you're just gonna have to like kick it in the shade and then maybe in like 20 minutes it'll be cool enough to touch. After like a week of being stuck trying to get these jib car rails up, Finally got the exact right screwdriver that we need to get these up. Somehow, I cut myself and I'm bleeding all over everything. Nice. We got that jib car railing up. The trick is to not let your sweat drip into the holes. Store yourself in the cabinet. In order to take the nuts off to get this jib rail off, we have to go down below. How does the underside of the deck look there? Terrible. Uh oh. Oh, I stripped it out bad. Flatheads, dude. They're the worst. Ooh, there's another jellyfish. Nice. It, this one has like dark spots on top. Oh. I would say that we... Saved the most difficult for last? Yep. Saved the hardest nuts to crack for last. The final nut.
Oh, it just got hard. Really like, hard. Because I was like just fingering it off. I think if I squat down, this will make it easier. You're trying to pull the nut to get a little twist on like, it. I'm twisting. Oh, it's getting really hard. Like we get it going a little bit. Oh, oh that's a tight one. Uh -huh. I'm like pulling really hard on it too. Well, getting my hard workout for the day. Mm, it got hard again. Yep. I am yeah. literally using one leg and both arms to hold it still and inside. I believe it. These are some tough nuts. Getting exciting. I'm sweating hard. I know. I'm dripping up here like all over. We did it! We should turn off the camera. Let me close you in there. Get back in there and I'll put the lid on. <laughs> My phone turned off because it was so hot and would not turn back on. And there is an excessive heat warning today. So pretty soon we'll take a break for the heat of the day and come back again in the evening. It's hot. It's super hot. We've gotten the teak and the screws up all the way back here on both sides. So today we filled holes all along this part of the boat, back to like right there, all this side done, all the way, all the way back to the front of the cockpit back there. We got really far on that side, so made some really good progress. It's uh, as much heat as we can take, so we'll either be back this evening or back tomorrow morning. How you feeling? Tired, but great. I feel awesome about all we got done today. Getting the holes temporarily sealed up in preparation for that big thunderstorm over there getting here. So we're about to get the boat rinsed off real good. Wow, what a nightmare. I don't know why that happened. Is there anything else I want to say? Nope. Oh, you gotta tell me when it's on. <laughs> Do you have any words or comments for today? No. Cool. <laughs> See, I can't help but notice that there's a lot of video of you working and a lot of video of me talking. Like, whenever I'm... I'm in the shot, I'm talking. Whenever you're in the shot, you're working. So <laughs> this is good. I need to have you just sitting there. Yeah, just, you haven't been working. Is it on? Yeah. This is weird. No one <laughs> sleeps like this. No one sleeps Get like Get in this. a position like as if you're about to go to sleep. <laughs> is that how you normally sleep? Yeah, that's why my back hurts all the time. <laughs> Come on. All right. Huh. You said all right. All right. All right. All right, 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 all right